Hello there. Welcome to the Gaming Wildlife Foundation. I am your host, Master Chuck. Wait! Ch Master Fate! What happened to your accent? Oh, my accent had an accident. Oh, I better write in a get well free card. Sure. Anyway, today's episode, we're going to be talking about grinders, people who grind video games. This is the Gaming Wildlife Foundation. Now, the grinder is a species that likes to consume grind-heavy games, stuff with a lot of repetitive, monotonous action. Where'd our subject go? Here I am! I heard that you were looking for a grinder, so I went online and made an account, and now I'm ready for some... action. No, no, you know what, I'm sorry. That is, that is not at all the reason why we are here today. Mm, then it must be for you, big boy. I didn't think I'd snag a bear today, but well, anything goes. You want to go dancing under the moonlight? I love dancing! I want to feel the burn! Yeah. Okay, you know what? It's fantastic that you got here and wanted to do all this fun stuff, but you know what? This has absolutely nothing to do with why we're here today, so you have a good time. Okay, bye. Dagmar, how many times do I have to tell you, do not dance with strange men? Hi. Are you getting wildlife? Uh, I got some groceries put away. I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> Where the hell were you? We had to start the episode without you and everything was a disaster. Sorry, I was playing my game and I got hungry, so I decided to make a lunch break. Would you like a generic toaster pastry? This is a granola bar. Well, if you don't want it, then why'd you take it? Look, never mind. We have to start the episode. <laughs> Our subject, everyone. Yeah. Now then, for more information on grinding in video games, we go to our expert from the University of Gaming's Grinders Association, Dr. Richard Resolution, a.k.a. Rerez. There's a common misconception that grinding is satisfying. See, some gamers might enjoy it, but unless they're masochists, well, they tend not to. It's just something you have to do in many games. The phrase grind is supposed to reference the phrase the daily grind, characterizing something as monotonous or boring. So how would... Wait, where did the subject go? Damn it! Get out of my way, Dagmar. Are you going to show us what you're playing or not? Well, sure, we just hit a slow point, so I thought I'd finish making lunch. Slow point? Wait, you're already playing? Yeah, I'm just having my characters grind for a while on EVE Online. The subject has gotten so bored with his game that he decides to go and do something less monotonous? If so, I don't think we can really classify him as a gamer. I mean, if he is this bored by games that he doesn't actually play them, then I think we should classify him as a non-gamer. Thanks for the granola bar, by the way. Calling him a non-gamer is a little extreme, Charles. Actually, the game is playing itself right now while he takes care of other things. The game requires the player have a large quantity of in-game currency, and the player can spend either real money to get fake money or can have their character do some type of menial labor to collect materials that are worth in-game currency, or the second thing they can do is do what the gamer is doing. His game is set to automatically mine for resources while he does other things, so that when he comes back to the game, he can just play. This is one of the ways that gaming companies can make money off of free-to-play games. The player can skip all of the grinding, but only if they play. You know, this still doesn't feel like gaming. God damn it, subject! Where the hell are you? I'm right here. So what, are you grinding right now? No, 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 the game's in the other room. It's, I'm not going back to it for a few hours yet. Are you serious? You're still not actually playing. How much time is spent grinding versus actually playing the game? Do all grinders do that? Stop shaking me! No, that's just the first type of grinder. The second type doesn't have the option of putting the game on automatic. They still need to grind, but they have to have a physical presence the entire time they're playing. For example, a character may need to be at a certain level before they get to the next portion of the game, so they end up fighting random low-level enemies to gain experience points. It can also happen when the game requires a player to collect a certain quantity of items to advance. In such instances, the gamer must go and dig through any number of encounters to satisfy the game's absurd requirement. Gaming companies put this into their game so that they can fluff up the runtime. How do you take a game that has only one hour of actual content and turn it into a six hour experience? 
Well, you force the player to grind battles for five hours. This is the bread and butter of most JRPGs. It also guarantees that the game will make the most out of all those environments the designers work so hard on. That's ridiculous. Why on earth would anyone devote so much time to a game that they don't actually play? Because when you finally get to play it, it's fun. No, I don't accept that. How much longer is it until we can actually see this game in action? <sighs> I'll probably be mining for another hour or so. If you want to sit and watch me grind, I guess you can. No, I'm not like. going to watch a tedious grind of EXP or gold or space things. I would literally watch anything else. You rang? No. No. Oh, it's you again. We got to dance. Dagmar, what did I tell you about dancing with strange men? He's not a strange man. We met him earlier, and I can finally feel the burn! Oh my god, I've had enough of this. From the Gaming Wildlife Foundation, my name is Master Charles Davino Bates. Good night. Oh, come on. I'm about to. Me too! That's it. End in the episode. <laughs>